Do you want to uh, introduce yourself and also tell me about the ward you've just been elected to represent? So my name is Malachi Habi. I am currently the councillor of Broomhill and Sharrow Vale alongside Brian and Angela. It's been a crazy few months campaigning. We've, had to, we've been contested. It was very close last year, so this year we knew we had to fight. By the end of the day, I think the public realised that the best way for a democracy to go isn't just a two-party vote and that Greens are a choice and Greens are strong. Um, we have a great team, Brian, Angela, the whole team, Peter, Liam, canvassing, leafleting, it wasn't easy. There's a lot of sore feet, a lot of sore hips, a lot of rest needed, but yeah, it's, it's been amazing. How many leaflets have you delivered, do you reckon, over the last month? Thousands, all recycled. <laughs> <laughs> I need that little snippet. I'll, I'll, I'll send you the whole thing. Yeah. Thousands, all recycled. Favourite moment <laughs> during the campaign? What have you enjoyed media most? Media training. Um, <laughs> I've never been media trained. The young children that can't vote yet, that are trying, that said they're going to vote for me. It shows that they actually see politics, and I think that's what it's all about: proportional representation. They ask me about politics. I canvass. Their parents are involved. Yeah, really. I think it's just all the young people that, are, that came out, honestly. Whether I'd, if I had won or not, the amount of people in my area, in my community, in the ward, young people that came out to support me is insane, yeah? Um, when did you last have a day off? Half of Eid. Half of Eid, yeah. But when did you last have a full day off? I can't answer that question. I think, I don't know. <laughs> I don't what know. are you going to do tomorrow? Sleep, stretch, and yeah, sleep, stretch, thank people, reply to people, send my love to every single person, and then plan a walk around the ward to thank just the local people, definitely. I think that's my plan. Brilliant. Congratulations, thank Malachi, you. and thank looking forward to seeing you on the council. Yeah, you too, definitely. Thank yeah. you. I said you too. <laughs> it's like on a waiter says thank you, say thank you. No, but I mean, for me, it was a lovely moment because I mean, I'd, I'd sort of met you at the beginning of the campaign. Yeah, it was. I, I'm sorry, I'm new. I like this one as well. Yeah. Me versus Terry. Yeah. You and old. I like Terry. Yeah. There is yeah. a national picture, yeah. they're not going to wait from them, and there are some issues we're having to deal with. Yeah, but what, what we are seeing across the city, across the country, is that trend and an improving trend. On a slightly different point, one thing that is so interesting, I just like that. Can I say it again, yeah. Contrast. Yeah. This is the leader of the council, and this is a new councillor, the young, one of the youngest councillors. So interesting. That's what I was trying to do: is show. Yeah. Because obviously they're filming those separately, yeah. and they're showing separately. But I wanted to get both in. There is a national picture. It's something you've said a lot as we watch those. You've sort of said, "I like Terry," you know, "I like Noah," "I like." Noah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody on an individual basis is bad. But I think when you subscribe to certain political parties, you're susceptible to groupthink. You know, <laughs> you, you could be amazing people individually. And I don't think anyone is inherently good or bad. I think people do good and bad. And I think everybody is, has their own individual merits, you know. Um, but, you know, you take them and put them into a political party and turn the wheel, then they just churn out things that are not that great. I think doing this research, one of the things that maybe has changed in me is I've become less party political and more concerned about the individuals. So I think across parties there are brilliant people in all different parties. And to be honest, in some parties, um, in every party you'll find some arseholes as well. So. Yeah, I just support the brilliant people and not the arseholes. My mum always said to me that, you know, only boring people get bored. So I, I genuinely don't get bored. I've got a really high tolerance level for boredom and I think that's a useful thing for an anthropologist because we spend a lot of time just sitting around waiting for things to happen. I would say about 98% of the time you're waiting. And I'm really, really good at waiting. I like waiting. I like going to airports early. I like going to train stations. I like sitting around in houses, you know, at weddings that go on for days in India. 
and just seeing, just looking around me and seeing what's happened and finding interest in those sort of really mundane, boring moments. Um, and I just, therefore, you know, it's just really difficult to get bored. And, you know, when I'm bored, I'm really good at sleeping, so I can sleep anywhere, so I just go to sleep. How do you describe the, being a mayor, Lord Mayor? How is it different from being a councillor? Oh, it's much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, you, you get to set your own agenda. Um, and I'm also a year out of direct politics in terms of um, I don't go to any of the um, committee meetings. I'm not there making decisions. I'm seen for this year as being neutral. And I chair the full council meeting as a neutral. So the rest of the, my, the time is my own and I get to choose what I do. Reading is a big passion of mine and it's what I'm promoting this year. Um, last week there was a day when I had two classes of children in in the morning, followed by a tenants association coming in to talk about what was happening on their estate. Uh, I then went to a meeting about governance because I had my mayoral hat on we were talking about how the system of governance within the council works. Mm -hmm. Then I had members from a book group come in to talk to me. And then in the evening, I had a group of scouts and cubs come in because they had to do their public service badge. And so they came in to talk about what I do and what local government does so that they could tick the badge that they knew more about local government and uh, politics. So that was just one day. Um, and getting out and meeting people is the bit that I love because you can talk to people and quite often people talk to you about issues that they have with the council, but not in an angry way. If you're a councillor, when people are fed up, they come and have a real go at you. If you're the Lord Mayor, there's some sort of aura whereby they talk to you, but more in a more civil way and that's that's fine you know if somebody comes with an issue i can take that up or pass it to the relevant place um but mostly i'm just out representing the city um and we have everything we have the cutlers company in sheffield of all the metal manufacturers in sheffield and they have a cutlers feast and when i go to those i'm a very serious person who's wearing a chain and has to respond to things seriously. And that's part of Sheffield. And then a week later, I'll be going to something else where I might wear my jeans because I'm going to get down with some kids and get messy. Mm -hmm. but, but I'll be wearing the chain. Um, All the time. Yeah, except at home. <laughs> and and I, d I don't wear it to the supermarket. But it's like going to an adventure playground with children and the first thing they do is dare you to go down the very steep slide. And so, you, know, you have to, yeah. and you're, but you're wearing all this at the same time. So, and they like that because it shows that you're human, but at the same time, you know, they recognise that you've done it specially for them. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's really nice. Yeah, I have a really good time.
you can groan. <laughs> Conducting today's grand opening by the cutting of a ribbon is the Right Worshipful Lord Mayor of Sheffield, Councillor Kenema Richards, accompanied by a special little helper, George Schofield. <laughs> You've talked about your favourite part of the job. What's your least favourite part of the role of Lord Mayor? Full council. Because it's such a big show that I'm orchestrating, except it's not a show, it's real. Um, and you don't know how people are going to behave and you're managing behaviours and trying to help everybody to be part of it and encourage people, but also you have to set boundaries and say, you can't do that. Please be upstanding for the right to worship for Lord Mayor of Sheffield, Councillor Jeanette Richards. Council meetings are in the council chamber, which is the debating chamber of the city. There is a public gallery where members of the public can come and watch the meeting. They can ask questions, they can bring petitions. So the idea is that it's the meeting where people can see the council in action and have some participation. We don't allow questioning of officers at meetings, the questioning is of the councillors um, and you, you know you, what you don't want is somebody standing up and saying and council, uh, council officer X has done X, actually no, hang on they'll have done that because they'll have been instructed to so it's us who takes the flak not that person. How much preparation goes into each meeting in terms of you know sort of in advance in terms of script in terms of advice? Huge huge amounts of preparation um, we we try to plan it as much as we can um, and we plan such that if vote a goes that way this follows and if vote a goes that way this follows so that we're trying to anticipate as much as possible i can just say well tear up the script i wouldn't but in, if a debate is moving and there are people who do need to speak because it's a very important debate then I will allow more people and I will allow extra time but if I do that that does mean that there is less time for other things and I have to catch it up somewhere else. So I have Paul sitting next to me telling me I am mortal um, and I can turn to him and I can say what do you think just happened in that vote because I think X also in front of me, I have the head of legal, I have the chief executive who I can ask for advice. And, you know, it is a political debating chamber. It isn't, you know, it isn't sort of um, school politeness, if you like. Each meeting, I'm awake at four in the morning starting to worry about how it's going to go, truthfully. Mm. 
when you come out of a meeting and it's run well or it's run not too badly is probably better you do think okay i did that and that was okay and you feel quite pleased yeah brilliant i think that's that's really covered everything that we want to talk about okay